Here's my original retro Spidey. And this is the one I got from AliExpress. And let me tell you, this is really scary. When you look at these two packaging, it's really difficult to tell them apart from pictures or videos. You really need to be careful when you're buying Retro Spidey because even on Amazon, the bootleg Venom was sold by third-party sellers. You can see the reviews of people saying that the Venom that was sold was bootleg even though original pictures were posted by the third-party sellers. So that could happen for Retro Spidey as well, so you better be careful. And the worst part is, it's actually quite pricey to me for a bootleg figure. I really feel I kind of overpaid for this. I just saw Ben Riley Spidey and Black Costume Spidey bootleg figures in packaging as well. Look at this. I'm going to get these to compare to help you guys spot the differences between these two figures as well. So stay tuned for that. As usual, you can see the damage on the packaging. Whenever I buy stuff from AliExpress, they always come damaged because seldom they use boxes for this kind of mint in box packaging figures. The cutback is decent though, there's no creases or bent, but the clamshell is squashed. So anyways, here's a closer look at the one from AliExpress. Really difficult to tell them apart. And here's the back of the packaging. Look at that. In picture or video, it's really hard to tell them apart unless you really have both of them in hand side by side to compare. Here's a closer look at the one from AliExpress. The printing at the back is exactly the same as the original. So how do you really tell whether it's the original or the one from AliExpress, which I believe is a bootleg, a really high quality bootleg. I would say I can share three differences that I spot when you have the figure unopened, but out of the three, two of them are really subtle, only one is kind of obvious but still not obvious enough if you look from the front, which is by looking from the side. Look at how thick the cutback is on the one from AliExpress, it's really thick and really wide, unlike the original which is so much thinner. You can really see how thin the original one is compared to the bootleg version. And just to be sure, here is Black Costume Spidey, Ben Riley Spidey, Sandman. The Ben Riley and Black Costume Spidey has a slightly thicker cutback, but it is not as wide as the one from AliExpress. Same goes for the Sandman which actually has a cutback which is almost as thick as the one from AliExpress but the color difference is really obvious. The one from AliExpress is really white compared to the greyish on all the original packaging. And here's the Retrowave Hercules as well. You can see at the side, it is still not as white as the one from AliExpress. All the original has the inner cardboard in kind of greyish color instead of white. So that's difference number one which is kind of the only difference that you can spot quite obviously but you need the seller to show you the side of the packaging. The second difference is that for the printing, it's definitely sharper on the original than on the bootleg but it's really difficult to tell them apart as you can see in this video here. But if you do look closer, especially at the bio, I would say it is obvious enough to spot the difference. The original is really sharp and the blue is really clear blue unlike the bootleg where the blue kind of have a bit of noise, you know, when, when a picture is kind of dark and then there's noise on the picture. It is simply just not as clear blue as the original and from the fonts, it is not as sharp as the original as well. But like I said, it's really difficult to tell but when you have both of them in hand side by side, you can see that the printing on the bootleg isn't as sharp as the original. And for the third difference, which is also difficult to spot because this is really something which is difficult to compare if you don't have the packaging in hand, which is this. At a certain angle under the light, you can see for the original that the purple is really smooth, there isn't any texture to it. But for the bootleg, under the light you can see that it's kind of dotted on the purple area. You can't really feel any texture but you can see it under the light at a certain angle. And again, for some affirmation, this is the black costume Spidey. The original one, under the light, the purple is really clear and solid. There's no texture on it at all. Same goes for the Sandman figure. Oh yeah, one more thing is that the printing of the number is different. Here's the original and here's the bootleg. The fonts of the number are different. Now, for the figure itself, before I open the bootleg packaging, I tried to spot any differences and I can only find one, which is 
look at the thigh swivel on the original the cut of the joint is kind of slightly rounded so there isn't any sharp edge but for the bootleg the edges of the thigh swivel really looks sharp so to me that's kind of another way to spot the bootleg by looking at the thigh swivel now let's take out the bootleg figure here's the bootleg figure out of the packaging and you can see that both of these really look similar original and bootleg but before we start on the figure Look at that, even on the inner side, the cardboard is really white compared to the original which is greyish in colour. I'm going to share with you 13 differences between them. First up is the height. The bootleg figure is actually slightly taller than the original and it's because of the legs. The original leg is slightly shorter than the bootleg version. You can see the height difference of the leg and that causes the shoulder level to be different as well. The bootleg is slightly taller, just very slightly. The web lines on the head of the original is thicker compared to the bootleg. Same goes for the alternate head. On the original head, there is a small number 4 embossed but on the bootleg, the number 2 is big and engraved and upside down compared to the original. Same goes for the other head. A bit of a mess on my original head though. There is a number 1 but not too obvious because of the messy plastic on the inner side. But for the bootleg, I can't make out what's the number on the bootleg head but the way it's engraved is similar to the other bootleg head. Next difference is the notch at the back of the neck. On the bootleg, it is really rounded at the bottom part of the notch compared to the original. And maybe it's a bit difficult to see in the video but the spider logo on the bootleg is very much more glossy compared to the spider logo on the original figure. The belt design on the bootleg also looks kind of better because it is less cut off compared to the original. On the original, you can see that quite a big amount is cut off from the top part of the belt at the app crunch area. On the bootleg, it's really so much lesser compared to the original. Both of them have the serial number printed at the back of the left thigh. So you can't depend on the serial number to check whether it's the original figure or not. The web lines on the neck of the original is painted all the way to the edge of the neck but for the bootleg version, the web lines doesn't really reach the edge of the neck. If you look at your own retro spidey, if you have one, the pack on the shoulders actually has a slightly darker red compared to the rest of the body on the original. But for the bootleg, the red is actually the same, which is actually kind of better. Same goes for the ankle joint. The pack on the original has a slightly darker red compared to the rest of the body but for the bootleg, the red is the same shade. For the packs on the original, the pack protrudes a bit from the hand for both the web shooting hand and the fists. But on the bootleg, the packs actually flushes well with the fists and the web shooting hands and you can't see it protruding out. Here's a closer look. Look how it protrudes out on the original. And look how well flushed it is on the bootleg. It doesn't protrude out at all. And also the color of the packs on the original is slightly different. The web shooting hands has a red which is the same as the body. But for the fists on the original, the red pack is actually slightly darker just like the packs on the shoulder and ankle joint that I shared just now. On the bootleg, both the packs are the same red color as the figure. Next are the elbow and knee packs. On the original, the packs actually protrude quite badly on both sides of the arms. But on the bootleg, it is quite well flushed. There. And same goes for the other arm. You can barely see it bulging out. So the bootleg actually did it better. Especially that the pack is red. Having it bulging out like how it is on the original is quite an eyesore. However, for the knee pack, the original did it better. It's really flushed down the sides compared to the bootleg which has those pegs bulging out. Next is a cut on the thigh joint. On the original, the cut on the thigh joint is kind of slightly rounded on the edges but on the bootleg, the edge of the cut on the thigh joint is kind of sharp, not rounded like the original. Here they are side by side and this difference can actually be seen while the figure is still in packaging. How much sharper the edges are on the thigh joint of the bootleg figure. Next, on the original, the pegs on the shoulders are flushed with the arms of the figure but on the bootleg, the pegs are slightly depressed inwards. 
The color is also slightly different. This one is red just like the figure. But on the original, it is slightly darker red compared to the red on the figure. Just want to share that at the bottom of the feet, they have the same thing printed. And the last difference that I want to share with you is the articulation. The articulation is exactly the same for all of the joints except for the split. The bootleg is actually able to do a wider split than the original. Look at that. Bootleg, original. <laughs> there, I can't push it any lower. Same goes for the Van Damme split. The bootleg is able to do a much more straighter split compared to the original. The drop down joint doesn't really work on the bootleg. You see, I cannot pull it down. But it doesn't really matter because it does a better split than the original. You can see that the drop down thigh joint on the original works fine, unlike the bootleg. So those are the differences between the original and the bootleg figure. But most of them are just cosmetic differences and doesn't really matter much unless you really scrutinize the figure like how I did. And in fact, the bootleg actually one up the original by being able to do a better split and also has matching colors on the joints. But I guess the main downside is that I feel that it is quite pricey for a bootleg figure. So do be careful when you buy this figure, especially when you buy from a third party seller, be it on Amazon or on any other platform. But yeah, having said that, like I mentioned earlier, this is actually quite a very solid bootleg. If any of you spot any more differences that I didn't mention, do share it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, do check out my other comparison videos and reviews at my channel.